Do you understand business? I don't think you've got a fucking Scooby-Doo, mate. I think you're an absolute clueless idiot moron. Nice, nice, nice. I said, and here's a full refund. Hopefully with that you can go and buy yourself the item needed. I if I can't get it off. Right, so I think we should take ourselves immediately to the charity shop. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're not desperate, you are. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, we're good, you all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Just drop the nipper off. Oh, wow. So much Lego, it's unreal. But I need to fish down that little one. No idea, but we'll have it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Adidas. Adidas. That's a vintage carbon climb, that is. It's very good. I found this humor as well. Charles Thwitt's 425s. Oof, but that's worth, but that's 30 quid. 25. 30 quid. 25. Might be worth getting, actually. Ireland Scott, big quilted line, 15. Hey. I want some XL trousers, what I want. Bloody another one. Beat ya. I dog go for a week, could I? No, there's nothing really in there, mate. Not for me anyway. There's a couple of there's a couple there's a couple of big spend stuff on the on the rails. Yeah, there's a Reese jacket and a Lyle and Scott jacket, 25 and 15. There's still still stuff in it. Not for me though. How's life, mate? Shut up. I was literally telling Emma that I'll get to get one of these. No, I'm not no, carry on, talk, you can talk. I'm buying that. Sold what? Sold the camera for seven quid. Sold it for two fifty the same day. Pat. Visit our website and donate to our urgent care appeal. Here's a Canon something for free if you watch my stall. She's like, yeah. Dad likes it. It'd be expensive. So car folder. Imagine putting your Pokemon's in that. You get ripped to shreds, mate. Can I put this one just here, please? I'm going to buy it, but it's kind of like. Too big for the basket. Thank you. Yeah, Sam, I reckon that... I'm not trying to get you to buy that. I reckon that Reefs thing is probably something in it with, like... Because Evo's no fees at the minute, is it? Yeah, I think it's be fair. Yeah, but vintage, you've got to be cheaper, haven't you? Shut up. Is that a Scooby-Doo collar? That's cool. That so Buckle cool. down. The original artwork on this property. Can't even see a price. Four quid. I have to research that now, anyway. This song plays rent-free in my head for the last five years. I think, I think it's been on the system for five years. It's a nice... It's a Barbra Streisand European tour. It is. Somebody will want it. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I'm going to check out the ladies' rail because it's a bit skinny everywhere else. These are interesting. Pambos, big, thick, woolly... Big thick woolly joggers. I'll have a quick look. They're eating for quite a lot of money, but I think we're going to get them. What bloody time do you call this? It's half past nine nearly. I know it's terrible, isn't it? I've almost got all the bargains. You probably have. Yeah, it's all ripped off. I've just got one at work, though, I think. There we go, that was a nice little trip. We've got a few good bits there. We're going to run through those in a moment. But before we do, I've got some sales that I'd like to get through. And I have just noticed a big, fat, dirty spider on the stuff. <laughs> Can't let you. Especially when it's dead. Well, we're going to be... Oh, I've got a fantastic sale as well. I've got a massive sale that I want to show you. Something that I want to stick up some of you commenters. Well, mainly one of you. And actually, without sounding like a dickhead, because obviously that's how I'm going to come across. 
It just proves my point. People don't understand the logic behind the way that everybody works, but I can only speak for myself. People don't understand the logic behind how I work. When I do my car boot sales and I'm taking things there and I am practically giving it away, I am having a whale of a time. People are getting bargains, I'm shifting stuff, and I'm claiming back some cash. There's a reason behind everything. We'll move into it shortly. But first, let's get into some sales because I need to clear some of this space off. Get out of the way. Right, first of all, we'll start with Vinted. I don't know if you remember the brand that I picked up. I think it's Borg Gen. I can't remember how you call it. I thought it was like Danish or Norwegian or something like that. Apparently, it's an English brand, which is a bit strange. Paid £5 for these from the charity shop the other day. Was it £5 or £5.50? And we've sold them for £26.40. This sale, I think, is actually in the middle of being cancelled. It's an Agnes B jumper. Really, really nice. Really expensive, these are. Mohair type jumper. Not type jumper. But somebody's cut the um, care label tag out. But I'm pretty sure that's mohair. But they sent me a message asking me if they can cancel it, please. They're not sure if the pink would suit her after all. So I said, yeah, no problem. You can cancel it. I've got no issue with that. I'm not cancelling it. I'm not getting a ding on my account. But... I appreciate you for even trying, but that was for 20, I paid £3 for that, that's for £22, but that's probably going to get cancelled. £6.66 are some Tommy Bahama shorts, I actually picked these up from Jessie's, I think it was her first Whatnot stream, I'm pretty sure. I was just buying them to support her because I love her. These ones have sold to Dan again, Dan actually picked up the big elephant puppet. And he's left me a nice message. Hi Ricky, it's been a while since I purchased the elephant puppet from you. These will fit a treat now that I've hit the five stone weight loss for the year. Five stone! Big up, Dan! I hope your journey is going well. It's going all right, to be fair. I've had a few little slip-ups and a few cheats, but we're not completely off the wagon. Now he's trying to get his sister's vintage balance up. There's got, they've got a few things going on in the family, which I'm not going to divulge, because I'm not too sure if you want me to or not. But his sister's vintage page is Clear Out Queen 84. If there's anything over there that you like, please do go ahead and make the purchase. It's going to make a big difference to their family. And if in a later video, Dan wants me to tell you, I will. He probably doesn't care, but I'm just being a bit too cool. I'm just being a bit cautious. So please do go check out Clear Out Queen 84. See if there's anything you like. Dan, I appreciate you. F fantastic work on your weight loss. And I hope your sister clears the, clears the target, what she wants to clear. To be fair, the target's 200 quid, so I'm pretty sure we can say that. £21.25, pence. we have sold the Canterbury jumper t-shirt, jumper t-shirt, t-shirt, really nice this one, I like this one, it's an older one, just like blocked out, choppy design, big spell out through here, really, really nice, and the shot puffer, bargain on this, could not shift it, paid 10 quid for that, when I went to the camp thing site, whatever it was called, 10 quid I paid for that, and I think I've got this one for three quid. So £13 in and £21.52 out. And Lindsay's picked these one up. So I really appreciate you, darling. She's picked a few things up from me now, haven't you? So I really do appreciate that. They'll be on their way to you today. I'm guessing this might, this could, I mean, this could be for you. Of course it could be. She said, thank you, Ricky. I love the banter you have with your charity shop, ladies. They're good eggs, they are. People think it's easy to do that. It took me five years to build that relationship. Long time long time but it's totally worth it so Lindsay, massively appreciate it. thank you the one the only hand-picked stuff aka matt ipswich not matt from ipswich has picked up the ikea desk lamp thing now i was so close to keeping this but i just never in a position where i'm going to use it if i had like loads of space and i could just pop it on the side and i know it's there for when i want it and just turn it on i would have done but i don't i paid four pounds 75 for this sold it for nine pounds and 99 pence Matt doesn't leave me messages no more because he doesn't have to. I recognise that username anywhere. Handpick stuff over on Vinted. Go check them out. Do it! £3.33 we've sold the North West Trucker Hat part of the cap deal. I have been listing caps like there's no tomorrow. Actually, that's a lie. I've just been listing caps. Not anything special. £3.33 on that one. So that's a nice little bring back to the bundle. I paid £50 for the bundle. I've done about 140 so far. So we're all right. We're absolutely fine. I can give it all away if I wanted to now. I don't want to though. Now. This next one, you think I don't know it's you, don't you? You think I don't know what you've done. I noticed, I noticed, because, young April, you have the same username as your eBay. April picked up something from me, and unfortunately, for some reason, it wasn't working. And I said, of course, return it. I didn't realise, obviously, that she watched the channel at this point. I said, yeah, just return it, it's fine, I'll send you the label, it's fine. 
And then she messaged back saying something like, I'm really sorry that I have to do this, you know, I wanted it to be whatever else. So then, you know, I watched the channel. So we sorted it out and done whatever else. I ended up giving her a nice refund because to get it back and stuff, it's just not worth it for that one. It wasn't a massive sale. I said, and here's a full refund. Hopefully with that, you can go and buy yourself the item needed. It's a blade that had broken on a shaver thing. She said, no, please don't refund me. It's fine. You know, I can do all this. It's that. I'll keep the thing and whatever else is going. No, I'm not going to get to keep something if it's broken and you don't want it. And if there's an opportunity to get a refund from me, then you can go and buy the piece that you need. Sorted. It's all part of business. And you went over to Vinted and brought some stuff from me. I know it's you. There's no way two of you got the same artwork for profile picture because I think you drew it. So for eight pounds and you've paid all this post on top as well, which is really annoying because you could have got a nice little bargain. So I'm not happy that you've had to do that, but I appreciate it regardless. So for £8.88, we've sold the two Starbug. Oh, I really can't say it. For £8.88, we've sold the two Starbucks cups. Oh, 75 pence each. They're actually colour changing. They turn silver when hot water's in them. So £8.88 on that. £4.44 for the Cooper tyres hat, cap, thing. Hey. And four pounds forty-four for Raya. Four pounds forty-four for Raya. So what's that? About eighteen quid for the bundle, give or take. April, I massively appreciate you. I oh, know it's you. You haven't left me a message. I'm just a very good detective. All right. You didn't have to do that, but I massively appreciate you. Big love to you. Thank you so much. And that is all of Vinted, so I'm going to get those packed up, so I've got some space, and then we're moving to eBay, and then, which is a massive sale on there, by the way, mm -hmm. some of you lot. And then we'll move into what I picked up from the charity shop just now. It's going to be a long video, hope you're ready for that. Oh, and I've got a giveaway as well. I've got a giveaway coming up. Who remembers the phone gimbal that I picked up from Timu? When I did a Timu collaboration, I picked up this. It was like 65 quid originally. It's really quite good, actually. It's a phone axis, so it's a gimbal. So it holds your phone steady when you're recording. You can walk around and it'll automatically hold your phone where you need it. I don't need it now because I've got this, which has got a built-in gimbal. So I'm going to be giving this away. Stay tuned for some point in the video, and I'm going to give you a special instruction for you to win this. Well, I've just had to stop myself because I started packing the eBay stuff, and I haven't even showed you that yet, have I? I've also had another sale come through that I might as well add to today's list from Vinted before we get into eBay. Michelin Butcher's hat in blue. Adrian and Karina have both picked up, well I think it's Adrian this time, but I'm always going to say Adrian and Karina have picked up the Michelin Butcher's caps. Butcher's hats, caps, things, whatever else they are. £7.77, I think I'm listed for £6 something, £6.66, I think they offered £7.77. Appreciate you guys. Thanks Ricky, really please offer support your channel and bag some bargains. Best wishes mate. I appreciate you both on the way to you. See? Right, moving over to eBay now. So we've had some sales. I did have to just stop myself from packing up on packing all the vintage stuff. And I got into like a like a like a workflow, like a momentum, and just grabbed this and started packing it. And actually, I haven't told you what it is yet, so I need to slow my ass down basically. Basically, this is three Graham Farish power supply units for trains. They've had the ends cut off, I can't test them. I've mentioned all that in the description. Listed them for $16.99, took an offer of £15 just to move them on. Harry Potter! We have sold a Harry Potter book. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Bloomsbury, hardback. One of the first, not a first edition, 30th edition. Sold it for £9.99. I had this on my store for six months. And it still hasn't sold. £9.99, I think it's off to Americora. Americora. I'm pretty sure it is. Staunton chess pieces has sold to Kaylee for £12. £12. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if Kaylee watches the channel or not, but she sent me an offer with a smiley face, so maybe. Maybe not. But either way, if you do, Kaylee, I appreciate it. If not, Kaylee, I still appreciate it. £11 for a Dyson charger. This one is for the vacuums. I've got, I've got a, big, a big list up there. I can't be asked to read them all out to you, but it's for Dyson like cordless, like V6s and stuff. That one's sold. Claire's picked up the Dubai Duty Free mug. Massively appreciate that. I think you sent me an offer of something else, and I said I can't accept it because the postage on that's going to be ridiculous. So I didn't realise it wasn't worth as much. Seven pounds seventy. Seven pounds ninety nine. Appreciate it, Claire. Eight pounds for these Cantu or Bantu even African shorts. They're not African, but they're made in Africa, like South Africa. I do believe they're like a South African brand. They can sell quite well, to be fair. Paid £4, sold them for £8. Obviously, no fees. 
We don't mind that, no we don't. Right, you ready for this now? We're gonna move swiftly into shutting some mother chuffers down. Not even shutting them down, but just like, don't speak about what you don't understand, morons. So for £20, I have sold one of, remember I picked up a massive bundle of phones, a huge bundle, and I was like, yeah, boy, some good stuff there. I've sold, I paid £24 for all of it. I've done £80 in sales, including this one. This one has sold for £20 all in. And then I had two that I've got crap sell-through rates and low prices even when they do that. I took to the car boot sale and sold for a pound. Just moved them on. Obviously, when I first got there, I was trying to sell them for like eight quid, ten quid, five quid. And then as the day went on, then they, then they ended up as a pound. Use your brain, moron. I took them there to sell for more than a pound. Just, they didn't sell, so at the end of the day, they're gone. I do business my way. But you think that's the fucking nail in the coffin for you? No. Watch. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? BT Freelance 200. The geezer said to me on YouTube, you wet your pants when you saw them BTs. Now you're selling them for a pound. You're a fucking terrible reseller. You don't know what you're doing. I literally responded because I'm not going to argue in text with somebody like that. I can't be bothered. If I do, yeah, I've had a good day. That means I've got energy. But normally, I, I won't waste any energy arguing with you like big paragraphs in, in things. I just said, you're clueless. Go back to your basement. Paid £24 for the big bundle. I've done about 80 quid already. Plus moved on some of them bits. And I've still got two phones over there to list. This one has sold. I listed it for £249.99 and it sold within 15, 20 minutes for £249.99. Now this geezer is telling me you don't know what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. I buy in bundles, I pick the cream and then I sell the rest at places like car boot sales or knock down prices. Do you understand business? I don't think you've got a fucking Scooby-Doo, mate. I think you're an absolute clueless idiot moron. And I'm glad I was able to show you that sale. <laughs> a lot of people don't think before they speak. Myself included sometimes. I'm quite guilty of that. It does happen. To see people doing stuff online on videos and to make assumptions when you've seen all my other videos. Clearly, you told me you watched it when I you saw my video when I picked up the phones. I wet my pants. Your words, not mine. I did wing myself a little bit. So you've seen many of my videos. So why do you think all of a sudden on one car boot sale I'm going to fucking throw everything away that I know and start changing my business model and start losing money on purpose. I made 100% profit on that £200. All of that stuff is from things that I'd picked up in, well, not 100% profit, actually. Them Crocs I paid £10 for from Dream Reselling. I thought they were going to fit me, but they didn't, and I sold them for a pound. It's all stuff that I've either bought in bundles, I've picked out the cream, and this stuff is still good, but not worth my time to sell it or list it or test it. So I sell it to somebody else, let them do the work while I work on the rest of the stuff, the cream that I've got, the cream of the crop. Gigs, big up. So my advice to you, basically, is don't be a fucking moron. Think before you type. What goes on the internet stays on the internet. And trust me, I'll screenshot dumbass comments quickly because I know that some of you have a change of heart or a change of conscience and sometimes the penny drops a little bit later. But I want to teach you a lesson sometimes, so I'll screenshot them quickly. And if I ever love heart, some of your comments, it's because I'm trying to get them off of the screen. If I'm not going to respond, but I want it off of my comment section, I'll just love heart it. But anyway, rant done. Right, I'm annoyed. I completely forgot to even do the haul, which has ruined the whole concept of the video. And now I don't know where I am, and I've got to try and jigsaw this in there somewhere. Let's get into it. I spent a grand total of around about £40, I think it was, £45. I always do a video of the credit card machines, I don't know. A lot of these brands I've never heard of before. I just looked at the quality, looked at the item, and was like, that looks like it might be worth looking up. So I checked it up, and I was, I was right. £5.50, I picked up these frame denim trousers. They need a wash, they've got like little marks and stuff, they've got food or something. But they were £5.50, nice stretchy waist, nice little cuffed off collar. Collar? What do you call them? Cuffs? Hems? Legs? I don't know. £5.50, Le Skinny de Jean Crop. Crop skinny jeans. £5.50, they're about 25 quid on those. Frame, keep a look out. This is for myself. Yesterday I was just saying to Emma, I'm going to buy a filter coffee machine. I found one on Amazon for 22 quid. I was like, yeah, I'll get that one. This one looks to be, look, it's never been used. Yeah, it's still got all of its foam on there. It's just weird how the universe works. I paid a fiver for that, I think. Five quid. 
Yeah, ten pound down to a fiver. It's just weird how the universe works. I said to Emma yesterday, I'm going to get a filter coffee machine from Amazon, 22 quid. We're going to start drinking filter coffee now. All right, I'm going to find one. Brand new. Another brand. These are thick as, man. They're called Pambos. Pambos. I think they're Australian originally. Paid £5, no, £4.50. They are thick blanket, fleece lined jogging bottoms. They just look and feel lovely. And if I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look and see, they're a size small, but they are bigger than a small. They're made for like, they're made for dossing around him. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't find much out of them. I found their original page. These were retailing at 60 to 70 quid for the men's version. I don't really know about the women's. And bearing in mind, it was only a quick look as well, so I might have even got it wrong. They could be worth a bit more because of what they are. But fantastic. £4.50 on them. That won't last long. I'm not going to be greedy. I'll stick them on Vinted for as long as I'm making some money. I make, well, I've got to be making money. It's all part of the new plan soon. I've got to start making some money. Essential Antwerp, really, really nice top. The reason why I picked this up is not just because of the brand, but because of the style. It's got these like tube arms, tube arms. I don't know what you call them, tube arms. So I'm guessing when you put this on, all of this here will bunch up to the top. You'll have really skinny forearms, like a big puffy, poofy um, top sleeves on the on the top. That's what I was trying to say then. Me, myself, and Essential Antwerp. So size medium, and I paid five pound, four pound for that. Bargain again, probably 18, 20, 25 quid on that one. Got some really cool, like odds and ends bits as well. These I was going to buy these when they was, they was originally up, so they were up for two quid, reduced down to one pound. These are past season, used to be 20 quid in TK Max, then down to 15, then down to three. I don't know what the date code on that is, but they're by Cabco Menswear, brand new with the tags, a British company since 1949. I just like them for myself, so they're a keeper they are for a pound. No idea if they're even worth anything. I've got a clue. Chicken Run Plush Ginger with the tag for one pound. This has got to be 99, isn't it? Surely, yeah, 19.99. Still got his tag on, but annoyingly, that's probably going to pull loads of the stuff off. Don't know about value. We'll soon find out if it's a rare one or not. This is just a really nice t-shirt. It's a Calvin Klein vintage, but I'm not sure if it's a bootleg or if it's genuine vintage. But I bought it anyway because I liked it. Got that really nice tight neck on it. I'm really enjoying a tight neck at the moment. But Calvin Klein tag is completely worn, like as in the tag is non existent. Paid two pounds for that because well, I don't know why it was two pounds to be fair. But I don't really wear Calvin Klein, I don't, but I really like that neckline. Look, just looks like it's gonna really hug it like my golden Virginia tobacco t shirt that I've got. Love the neckline on that. This was cool, picked it up because it's funky donkey. I don't know if it's gonna be worth anything. Funky donkey, yes, I just said it. Yes, you can take it. Yes, that can be your new word of the day. Funky donkey. I don't actually recognize that tag, that label. I don't know. It was for three pounds. It's got the little hitches there as well. Maybe I can find out some information on the care tag. No, that is worn. But like it's got RN numbers and stuff, so it must be. Must be desirable to somebody, but that sort of stuff like that don't last 10 minutes. Sells out fast, man. Hopefully it's a decent brand. Hopefully I would have done some research for you while I'm doing this. Last of the clothing, I promise. This one's mainly for me. It's a Camprey. Camprey Sports Base Layer 350. Just for me. Just for me. So I do want to um, start jogging soon, believe it or not. Oh, no. yeah, just a little bit, just a small jog. And I've got a nice little base layer to go and do it because it's nippy out there, isn't it? Adidas hat. Snap back at the back, it is two pound and two pound only. It is a OSFM one size fits most. Really nice little cap, sort of nice, um, what do you call it like tracksuit material type thing. And this is where it gets good. This is where it gets good. Well, I don't know actually if it gets good or not, but this I didn't even realize it lights up. Oh, it's all batteries have exploded as well. Right, this I picked this up. You'll, you'll see why I picked it up. It just looks like a fancy name, doesn't it? Uh, Jafra or Jafra. It's a vanity mirror. And at the back there, which I've only just noticed now, it actually used to light up, but all the batteries have exploded and stuff. Paid 75p on a whim. Texier Paris paid £3.50 for this one. It is a in the box, in the packaging. Little card, wallet, purse thing. You probably put your passport in here. Your documents and whatever else never been used brand spanker for three pounds fifty i'll be listing that for about 14.99 for a quick sale i think yeah i can do that without any issues and still keep bargains 50 pence paid for this star trek luggage bag tag name holder first time opening it there we go 
Star Trek, the original series, Spock luggage tag, 2017. 50 pence paid. Easy profit making on that. Easy margins. And this was awesome. Scooby-Doo dog collar. So it's by a company called Buckle. Was it called Buckle Down? It's got Scooby-Doo, like Thelma, Louise, one on there. Is it Louise or not? Paid four pounds for it. But it's like a big, chunky... How do you do it? See, push that. There you go. Shall I do it? It's elasticated. Doesn't this mean I'm a slut or something? Imagine if I can't get it off. <laughs> Ruggy? Yeah, so it's a Scooby-Doo neck collar. I feel like I'm in bondage. And then I picked up this Barber, Tri Barber Streisand European Tour 2007 in its own little fancy case, little pin badge. 50p. Now, what was that? I think it was 50p. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because it wasn't a price tag on that. I think she just put 50p on that. Beautiful, huh? And the Pia de la Resistance. I don't even know how to say that to be fair. Unfortunately, it's not a Filofax, but it is a Filofax type thing. For £1.50, we have grabbed a combination organiser by Pullman. Oh, what you got that for, mate? Names and addresses. Who cares about travel information and maps and special projects and business supplies and calendars and. House receipts with little envelopes. Who cares about all that? Well, somebody does, my child. Pre-owned and in an obvious pre-owned condition as well. 25 quid these are. I'm trying to pull this stick off without wrecking the fucking lever. They always do this. <laughs> Found some receipts. Camping, Marbella, 191 De Playa. 1990. I can't read all that. 1990. There's any more hidden treasure in here. Come on, where's the family jewels? Where's the family stash? Where'd you stash all the old notes? Oh, I'm not even fucking joking. What's that? What is that? Fucking hell, I've still got the dog collar on. Oh god. So we've got 22p, some stamps. £2.20 worth apparently. Or was. I bet they're still tender, aren't they? I bet you can still use them. Surely they're still legal tender. And I really thought I was going to find some cash after saying that. Thought, yeah, boy. Marshalls, Plymouth, Devon, 231, 16th of December 1990, All Star, expires 1991, sales voucher, vehicle registration, A reg, I'm not going to read it all out, vehicle mileage, one, one mile, M Mills, Marshall Mills, Marsh Mills, oh here we go, that's no, the same thing, that's just, just, just cool to find isn't it, I'll have a good look through that to make sure there's nothing else Hidden and stashed away. But, what was I saying? Yeah, but at £1.50 paid, I get about 25 quid on that. So that's pretty decent, were not it? Right, now hopefully I can slip this into the video without it being too weird. If you want to win this, all you've got to do is comment down below your best joke. Don't answer it. Let me or somebody else try and answer it first and you can either correct them or we can all laugh at them at the end as well. So I want your best joke down below in the comment section. Do not answer it. Let somebody else do that. And you can win this gimbal. I'll pick it out at random. That's all you got to do. Don't go anywhere. Watch this video here. YouTube thinks you'll love it. And in fact, so do I. See you in a bit.